Um, we have had a lot of people ask us about alignments. The reason is that on a UTV, you know, one of the most popular upgrades is going to be uh, rear radius rods, which we sell a lot of, we install a lot of, and we've got a lot of guys around here that do it every single day that can give you some good advice on how to do that um, quickly. Uh, even if you don't watch our videos, which is about, I don't know, 50% of our customers who get their stuff in the mail and they open the box, go right past everything that says look at our videos for instruction because they're so excited to put it on. Slam it on there and it's not aligned. Um, there's ways you can actually uh, cheat the system of aligning it quickly so that it's not going to destroy tires. It's not going to uh, drive horrible. Uh, most of the time there's not very much adjustment in these at all. Uh, so you don't have an option. But when it comes to alignments, there are a few things that are standard practice on every vehicle, doesn't matter if it's UTV or not. You know, caster, camber, toe, and square. I'll get to square a little bit, and that's just checking to make sure that the car is square. But caster, here is what caster actually is. If you are looking at the front of the car, arms, chassis, hey, look at that roll cage, just like a race car. So caster, caster is if looking at the side of the vehicle, straight at the tire, or driving this way, tire right here. On that tire, inside that tire, is the upright or spindle, whatever you guys want to call it. Everybody's got their own term for it. But the upper control arm is attached to the top, lower control arm is attached to the bottom. How that spindle or upright is leaned to the rear or leaned to the front is going to be caster. Going to the front is negative caster. Going to the rear is positive caster. What's correct? So what happens is the farther that you lean that spindle back by adjusting the upper arm to the rear, if it is adjustable, factory is not, the farther you lean that back, the straighter that the car is going to want to drive if you let go of the wheel. It's almost like having power steering holding you dead straight. So a, a car with a lot of positive on the spindle, you can let go of the wheel, it's going to go straight through the bumps, it's not going to want to turn. A car with less positive, and I would say not negative, but less positive, somewhere in the three to two, one to three degree range, is going to want to turn a lot easier and not go perfectly straight. So there's a happy medium because you want the car to go straight, but you also don't want to have a car with a ton of positive caster into it, which drives great and straight, but when you turn, it loads up and it, doesn't, it fights you. It doesn't want to turn to the corner. Um, has like the feeling like your power steering isn't working. So you don't want that. You don't want to have too little and have the car dart around when you're in a straightaway at 80 miles an hour. So somewhere in, the, in there is going to be a happy medium. We, on our race car, run the car between 2 and 5 degrees positive. Now, 2 would be like a short course or something you're going to be turning a lot, uh, something that's not super high speed. Uh, 4 to 5 degrees would be something that's uh, 80, 90 mile an hour straightaways, a lot of them, uh, graded roads, or even high speed whoops. Uh, you're gonna want the thing to track perfectly straight through. Um, in our race car, we can pretty much let go of the steering wheel at 80 miles an hour through two foot whoops, and it's gonna track perfectly straight. Um, when you come hit the brakes and come into a corner, it'll drive perfectly into the corner, it won't fight you. So that would be my suggestion on a UTV somewhere between, uh, I'd narrow it down two to four degrees in that range. Caster, camber, toe, these adjustments on a UTV, typically bone stock, you do not have caster and camber. There is no adjustment in the front control arms for that. In tow, everything's got a toe adjustment and that is in your tie rod. Now, you also have adjustment in the back when it comes to aftermarket radius rods, but typically bone stock coming from the factory, rear radius rods, do not have any adjustment for camber or toe. So you don't have very much adjustment in the, in the car UTV factory. You have toe in the front and that's about it. But everybody buys aftermarket radius rods, which means in a Polaris you're going to have a camber adjustment. We'll get into camber. In the front, if you buy aftermarket uh, A-arms, say long travel kit, a lot of them are adjustable with uh, rod ends on the inside. So, or a forward mounted longer uh, wheelbase uh, set of arms like a, a Super ATV or a ton of others have adjustments so you can align the car. That's the stuff that we're talking about here. So factory, you don't have these two adjustments. That would be a no and a no. And you certainly don't have anything you can do about square. Factory, you have a toe adjustment. 
But back to caster. So caster is leaning the spindle backwards. Uh, the farther back you go, the straighter it goes. The farther forward you, you lean it, the quicker it's going to want to turn for you or enter a corner. Camber. Camber is this first drawing I just did. Camber is leaning the tire in or out, looking at the front of the car. So negative camber would be if this tire is aligned to lean in on the top. You see a lot of cars with that. Maybe they wanted it, maybe they didn't. Could be just what they ended up with. But camber is something that's definitely adjustable in most aftermarket A-arms. It is something that's adjustable certainly in every aftermarket, well, almost every aftermarket rear radius rod kit. So camber is something you want to play with. Now, if you align the car to have the tires perfectly straight up and down, which would be zero camber, negative is leaning the tire in, positive is leaning the tire out. If you throw a little bit of negative camber into the car, it will typically want to turn better and stick in the corner. The reason is, when the tires are perfectly straight up and down, and you turn the car this direction and it leans, then both tires are going to lean out this way and you're driving on the outside corner of the tire. I'm exaggerating, but this is basically what happens. You lose some traction, you're not on the bottom of the tread of the tire, you're on the corner. Just like this drawing, that's the only corner that's touching the ground is that corner right there. And you can push through the corner when you have alignment issues like that. If you put a little bit of negative into the system, no more than a degree, somewhere between zero and a degree, at least when you turn in, it flattens the tire and now you're perfectly flat on the bottom tread contact patch of the dirt and it will turn a lot better. Camber, tire leaning in, tire leaning out. This is the most common alignment that we're running into people having questions because Typically, it's the only adjustment you have with a rear radius rod kit. And we will go and show you a radius rod kit on one of the cars that are over here and uh, show you how to adjust that. But that's important. It's actually very important because the car in the back, if the tires are, are leaned out with negative or positive camber, you enter a corner and it just slides off the outside corner. Also, you don't have very good traction when the tire isn't laying all the way down, uh, flat contact patch. And a little bit negative when you enter the corner is going to turn a little bit better. Yes, Steve. Justin, once you set your alignment, your toe, your caster camber, will it ever change? It can. <clears throat> alignments can always change. One of the reasons why alignment uh, alignments or adjustments and alignments are adjustable is because things change and wear out and you're going to want to keep up on it. Caster, that is going to be taking the spindle, the upright, and leaning it to the rear or to the forward, that's positive or, or negative caster. That's gonna make it drive straighter or wanna turn quicker. Camber, that is taking the tires and leaning them in at the top or out at the top. A zero to negative one degree, somewhere in that range, is the best place to be if you have adjustability. If you don't have adjustability, don't worry about it. Toe, we haven't talked about that yet, but toe is looking straight down on top of the car. Toe is the difference between the measurement on the front of the tires and the measurement at the back of the tires. So, looking at me, from the front, if the tires are towed in, that means they're towed in, narrow at the front, wider at the back. Looking straight down on the car like that, that's toe in and toe out. Toe depends on, like what is the best toe to run? Depends on terrain. Uh, the more traction, like say running on asphalt, and if you are turning all the time, you might want a little bit toe out. Set the toe. In my opinion, quarter of an inch towed in, that will be the best for almost all dirt, all sand, and even asphalt. If you're road racing and you're a NASCAR guy, why are you driving a UTV around a NASCAR course? Who cares about the alignment? I mean, well, no, that's not the case. You're going to care about it, but Make the it truth is up. that's like one guy ever out of thousands and thousands of guys that are even going to care about that. So dirt, uh, trail, <laughs> sand, quarter inch towed in. That's the same front and rear. On the rear. Um, last thing, square. This is uh, technical. You should take your car to uh, an alignment shop to find out if it's square or not. Basically, I'm, I'm talking about front tires, rear tires being uh, in square with themselves or square on the vehicle. So if you could pull a straight line down the center of the car and you can string line from the center of the hubs to the ground and you can pull from corner to corner, make sure that the thing is square. That's going to help it drive straight. It's going to help it drive really well and not wear out tires. Um, and you're getting a little complicated and that's why you take it to an alignment shop. Um, that's about that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mess this one up. 
a little bit. So what's probably gonna happen? Hand mess with the toe. It's a little tight. So all I did right there is just make it purposely a problem so that you guys can see where we're gonna wanna look at. If you end up putting a set of radius rods on your vehicle and you want to align it, maybe come back a little bit more, Chase, and then take a knee. What I'm looking for, what I want you guys to look at is kind of put your eyeball on this, looking at this tire's angle compared to the front tire. So maybe push your head out a little bit wider so you can see when that tire, and you can actually see this front tire in front of it. The easiest way to cheat or to shortcut an alignment is to step back behind the car and put your head in line with that outside edge of that tire compared to the front one. Believe it or not, your eyeball is very, very accurate. And as you start adjusting camber, and if you're trying to adjust the rears to match the front, Eyeballs around here are with about two or three tenths of a degree. You can see if it's off a little bit, and that's about as much as you're gonna be able to adjust, even at alignment shop. So once you've put a set of radius rods on the back of that car, and you look at this one where it's negative cambered, hopefully you guys can tell when, by looking through that camera, it might not translate, that the inside of this is, the top of this tire is inboard. That would be negative camber. And then what we want you to do is adjust that out until this angle matches the front. Can you actually see that, Chase? Yeah, we can. It's kind of different with each camera. That's why I'm going back and forth, so well, we got up it. close might be a bitch. Farther back might be a little easier, but we want you to be able to see that front tire. We got it. So adjust the upper. Steve, you tell me when. Keep going. I'm just pushing that out. Keep going right about there. Right there? Yep, that looks about good. So that's a really quick way to get your camber in line. Now, you can also download a couple of apps. And I'll show you really quick if I can find it on my phone. <laughs> uh, now now going to show how bad I am at Here's this. one. Here's a Carpenter app that basically has a level on it. And you can throw your phone on the center cap of any of these things. Or if you had a nice straight edge, which would be even better, you can throw it on the straight edge and see where you're at. Oh, that was close. What? One degree. That's pretty good. And that's kind of what we're shooting for between zero and one degree. Let's see what the front one actually looks like and it's see like how dumb. close we are. <laughs> Eight tenths. Steve, your eyeball is within two tenths. Ooh, he's a monster. It's like I do this all the time. <laughs> That's because you do. It's like I do it for a living. Yeah, <laughs> but it's actually that easy. If you guys just follow that process of taking the rear tire, matching it to the front visually, you're gonna be very close. Once you've got camber adjusted, then when you're talking about an X3, you're also gonna wanna adjust toe. This center link right here is strictly an adjustment for toe. And as we talked about earlier, that's setting the tires inboard or outboard. You want to adjust the rear to have about the same toe in as the front, which is a quarter of an inch, roughly on a 30 to 33 inch tire. On an X3, you can adjust the toe. Again, doing the same thing, you're going to adjust this radius rod in or out. It's going to change the toe a little bit. There's a couple things in our instructions that'll help you with X3 specific toe setting because you want to make sure that one side is not uh, crab walking, I guess is the right, right way to put it. Crabbing is if the front tires are straight, rear tires are straight, and you adjust the tires like this, then the car is going to drive crooked, and that's crabbing. So you can change that or uh, adjust that by, thank you, by checking the tire from left to right by, uh, we basically take a tape measure from the same spot on the arm, like say this hardware right here, bounce this off here and check toe. Same with the other side. <laughs> that's why I don't like doing alignment. <laughs> <laughs> We would check toe with a straight edge on this side and make sure it matched the other side first. And then we would adjust both tires equally at the same time and try and bring that toe in, in the front slightly. Um, that's the easy way to get through all this, especially in this shop when we see enough cars, there are enough, uh, as many cars as we see per day. And usually when they leave here, they drive straight. Uh, we also tell everybody to take it to an alignment shop so that that uh, takes liability off our shoulders and now it's on yours. We like that. The more of that, the better. Right, Steve? Agreed.